Okay, I need to do a couple different things here. Um, one of them is we'll start with uh, the font. How do I get text in here? Uh, my poster is going to be on value. Um, so I want to say something very brief about that. Um, so I come over here and I'm going to get my T for my text tool. Um, and I'm going to drag a track text box. There we go. There's a couple different things that you need to see here. Number one, 24 points. Think about this. Uh, remember your picture is, um, what is it, like 13 by 11 something. So um, a regular piece of paper that you type on or that you would print off on a printer if you were doing you know, a Word document or a report or something, you're probably typing in Times New Roman, which is the, the font that you're using, and you're probably typing around a 12. Um, so this is a little bit bigger than that. So I'm going to start with maybe like 18. You've got left justified, center justified, right justified. I'm just going to go with centered here. Um, I want to make sure that my, oh, it's not going to, oh, yeah, well, okay. I want my text layer up on top so I can see it. <clears throat> I may have to go back in here and, yep, yeah, it's not going to let me back in. So I'm just going to go and make the text box again now that my text is on top there. Okay, and I'm going to start typing. So this is value. And, um, and the text that I'm using is this particular one here. It looks like this. There's hundreds of them to choose from. Um, choose something that looks professional. You want to stay away from things that look overly large or cartoony. Uh, you do not have to use all the same font through the whole thing. Maybe you want you know, the title to be um, one particular type of font and then the rest of the type to be something else. Uh, so again, stay away from certain ones. I, I don't know, whether, unless you're going for something very, very specific, you want it to be relatively, um, you know, professional looking. This could probably be a little bit bigger, maybe 24 or let's try 36 with that one. Okay, value. Okay. And then I'm going to hit return or enter. And now I want it to be a little bit smaller. Um, Okay, the transition of light to dark in an image. Uh, it's not a sentence. I don't need a period at the end of it. Um, and it doesn't need to be a sentence. This is sort of like a, you know, a visual title for this thing. Um, if I want this to be a different font, you can go in there and change those things. It also gives you like, you know, do you want it to be regular or bold? Um, there it is in bold. Uh, but I think I'm going to change it. And again, like I said, just try to look for something that uh, looks professional. That I don't want it to be bold, and it's kind of tiny. So depending upon the font that you use, it's some are, are, are smaller than others. The transition uh, of light to dark in an image. Okay. Um, another thing you can do if I don't like the color of that, here's my color box that relates to that. And again, I could pull something from outside of here. Um, I don't know that I want it to be that. Uh, light. I want it to be a little bit darker probably than the background. Okay. All right. There you go. It looks very nice, very uh, professional. Make sure that you uh, click on this uh, layer and you can go under edit and check spelling. It's something that I definitely need to do because I spell things wrong all the time. Uh, and that's it. That's how you get your font on there.